Hello mini DevConf online watchers, this is Philip Koval and today I will share some experiments about uh, how I built uh, a pinball as a hobby. So let me introduce myself, so I'm a software engineer based in France. I've been an open source contributor for a couple of decades now and currently involved into Mozilla Rep program. I've been previously involved into a different business uh, that use open source like uh, Tizen operating system for Intel, then I act on uh, Yocto with Yocto on automotive projects and my main contribution when I joined Samsung was uh, IoTVT framework. You can contact me at pearl.org slash rzr. I'm currently material for hire. You can uh, also check what I'm doing. I shared a lot on the Fediverse or Twitter. It's about uh, open source uh, hardware, embedded Linux, and uh, some experiment uh, melting melt IoT and uh, 3D worlds. But uh, let's talk about uh, Emilia Pinball. I should get credit to Eric Engvist that wrote this game in year 2000. It's a plain uh, regular Linux game. It's using OpenGL for rendering and a SDL, simple direct layer library for OS abstraction. He also wrote an editor using Qt framework for creating new tables. Everything has been published to SourceForge. And a couple of years later, I contributed a couple of patches to port to new platform, load 3D asset, I tried to roll my own table, and uh, then progressively by my own maintenance of the project. Meanwhile, uh, Debian Packagers uh, made a package for this uh, game, so thanks a lot. And uh, recently it was orphaned, but it's not a problem because I will probably adopt it and uh, update it uh, through the Debian game team. And I've been already uh, packaging new tables, so you can try them. Uh, let's now let's talk about uh, the, the community contribution. So there were some patches from communities, that's pretty cool, and even some extra tables, but for legal reasons I didn't want to taint the main project with uh, different assets with different licenses, it can be a nightmare to maintain, and it can cause some scalability issue because asset size can be a little big, so I didn't want to uh, mix uh, data and source too much. So I suggested uh, authors to create their own project and try to uh, make it uh, as an external plugin for Emilia because it's already designed to do this way. But I believe that auto tools or auto fools, should I say, blocked the creators to maintain their own table. So they, they integrated their own tab in, into their own forks of the project and there was different uh, project ongoing. So that's a problem I decided to solve recently because I did it by my own and I isolated the code. I mean, now I'm maintaining a separate package for each tables. Let me show you a short demonstration about the, the new table, which is uh, in Debian uh, testing. So if you load the table, you can play this uh, game. So you can see uh, it. Uh, like a regular pinball with some lot of effects like a nudge. It has some magnets where it can uh, trigger the balls and so on. Um, but it doesn't stop here because I wanted to port on some uh, single ball pop computer like this one from ST on, and I've been using Yocto this time. So why how did I, I had a look at this? Because I wanted to check about how can legacy software can run on modern uh, systems. So here we are talking about uh, desktop OpenGL. How can it be deployed to current software stack? Because there is a lot of improvements lately on Mize 3D, X11 now switching to Wayland. And we have also the kernel mode settings to get rid of the graphic stuff. And uh, we have also the API for 3D, which is evolving. So from OpenGL uh, 1, I try to use uh, an OpenGL ES uh, wrapper to provide uh, GLOS uh, implementation, but probably the future should go now to Vulkan API. Uh, so to do this, I needed to uh, get access to the board support package for different uh, vendors. So I ported to Yocto Open Embedded and uh, made the packaging for this uh, new uh, custom uh, operating system, which is uh, quite interesting also. And then I benchmarked my board I have home, so I 
tried on the, the STM32 MP1. I, uh, I have this one, which is uh, supported by Yocto also. There is also the Dragon Board, which is ARM V8 and the Raspberry Pi. And uh, what I really want to uh, check is about the support about uh, current uh, free driver we have on the uh, ARM uh, GPU. And uh, I wrote my own custom profiler to have some metrics. Uh, you can um, decide to deploy to new system, but I wanted to compare to something I can uh, uh, check easily without rebuilding everything. So I get uh, back to Debian for uh, having a, a stable reference system. So anyway, here's a short demonstration about uh, uh, early uh, results. So this is uh, running on the STM. Uh, um 32 mp1 so i think here is to see i was using a software rendering and it's not uh displaying full screen but the performance is uh enough to be playable but uh it can be accelerated that's uh what i wanted to explore in the future so something uh not really related but uh, i wanted also to make a, a pin cab. So it's a pinball simulator in a cabinet. Uh, that's something uh, I, I've been uh, doing during the 2020 lockdown because I wanted to get busy. And uh, I created something uh, which is very low cost. So you can should, um, you can you can replicate this without uh, investing too much money. So it costs me virtually almost nothing because I reuse uh, existing uh, um stuff i um, some made some savage of existing equipment so i found a digital signature screen uh, which is quite heavy and i put it on two threshold and uh, then you can level it up to uh, one meter and it fits like a real pinball uh, for the soft the hardware i use a uh, a very old PC which is running on the Pentium 32 bits, that's pretty old. And then I needed to create, uh, add some new buttons. So first I had a keyboard, then I stripped uh, some mouse uh, each side of the, of the display and it fit my needs. I wanted something easy to uh, dismantle and to move in different location. Anyway, I tried it on a future pinball first. So it's a Windows game and uh, it's quite old now, but you can install it on Linux using Lotris. There is a demo table. Uh, it's running Wine uh, emulator for the loading uh, DirectX API. Uh, it's not free, so I wanted something free like and lib or like uh, Emilia Pinball. So I want to port uh, Emilia to this new uh, setup. So how to do a pin cab from uh, using Emilia. So first you need to support a uh, uh, different uh, display like in portrait mode with a camera which is in static view and displaying almost all the table. And I then I wrote uh, some script to boot directly to a random table and uh, it's using uh, X11. I also try to uh, run on Wayland and do some systemd uh, startup script and uh, I wanted uh, something easy to boot and to turn it off uh, so I'm using a read only file system on a USB uh, key. I also need to handle uh, new inputs uh, type and eventually in the future new outputs. So currently I just uh, need some buttons to control flippers so using the mouse I can have two buttons so if there is two, two mouse I can have four buttons but only two are used because they are the same. So for flippers, I can use a right and left button and the plunger, I can use a middle button. I can try to emulate a nudge effects by combination of buttons also. So here is the demonstration of the setup running. So it's running on this uh, old PC and uh, here it's running the same GNU table and uh, even the cat uh, is staring at the ball, so I believe it's realistic enough. I have two display on this uh, setup, but uh, only one is uh, animated currently, and uh, you can notice some nudge effects also. So 
now he wanted to support some um, new inputs. So Nuch control is not very intuitive, even if it's a combination of mouse. Uh, my friend that tried it didn't really manage, so they were stitching the, the, the pinballs. So I wanted to make something more natural. So I'm relying now on a motion sensor. It's uh, more easy, but uh, I had to uh, develop something new. So I use uh, another board, which is uh, NXP Freedom K64F. I got this uh, from Natex uh, conference. And uh, it's shipping an accelerometer. I wrote a driver for it, running on Nutex. And uh, currently, I'm using a proof of concept using Embed OS, so using uh, uh, HEID uh, classes for uh, USB keyboard and so on. But this can be ported to other hardware or other operating systems. There are many, like Zephyr, Riot, FreeRT OS, Tizen RT, and so on. So it's a demonstration of my nudge. Uh, so let's see this in action. So here is what I have now. This is uh, my pin cap profile, and I can control uh, it using just two button from the mouse. And I can also tap on my uh, table on the right, and it will uh, produce a nudge effect. So that's pretty cool. And everything is running on Debian, of course. So first, originally, the software was uh, supporting only keyboard events. So I tried to produce the same events using a mouse button. So it has three, three buttons on the mouse. Here I have two mouse uh, stripped to the edge of my display. And with a middle button, I can plunge uh, uh, the ball and control each flipper on each button. And I can also emulate a nudge by pressing combination of buttons. Then I use this sensor using this NXP board. And if I'm moving my uh, table, it will produce uh, a nudge event. So it's using, it's uh, like a keyboard. And if I'm tapping on it, it uh, will trigger this uh, uh, nudge effect. So it's currently supporting NUT uh, embed. They can uh, now import it to NUTX and uh, I need probably some help. And it just works this way. Just play and tap and it will move accordingly. Now, what's going on for the future? So I wrote my scripts. I want to release this in a final SDL version, then port it to uh, Open Embedded and Bitbake, uh, and then publish uh, SDL2 version and publish it uh, on different distro and to want to deploy this to different uh, single board computers. Uh, some new, some helps or new ideas are welcome. So some things that can be valuable is to pick a uh, community patch from a lot of uh, ongoing forks. I didn't have a look, but some, most of them are on GitHub. Uh, experiment uh, some new 3D uh, technology like uh, uh, OpenGL ES for embedded, Vulkan API, or eventually play on a VR. That can be also interesting. Uh, I want also to support uh, many distribution. In, um, Debian is fine, but it can be a little slow, so maybe it can be interesting to have snapshot package that anybody can try. Uh, maybe it could make sense also to modernize uh, the asset format. So maybe JSON or GLTF could be the more relevant today. Uh, also, it can be interesting to uh, support a script uh, system and not rely on a shared library. And eventually see how I can uh, parse uh, other games tables or try to import them. And uh, could it make sense to revive uh, this uh, old uh, pin edit? I'm not sure, but if there is an interest, let me know. And uh, yeah, I already uh, plan to join Debian as a developer. So if anyone wants to help me, is that uh, something I had on my plan for a long time now? So if you want to try it, uh, either you can try the Debian packages once they are updated, or you can just grab the code from uh, Git. So I use GitHub for managing my code, but it's also mirrored on SourceForge. And I use Debian as a reference operating system. You can build a snapshot, snapshot package from my script or my uh, um, personal repository. 
or and if you're not running on Debian, you can also use Docker to uh, build and run it on any OS. Uh, so if you are even running on Windows, you can also try the game. So feel free to share feedback on my GitHub or upstream at this uh, SourceForge. I probably need to update uh, the description and so on. And uh, if there is no feedback, you can uh, ping me on uh, Fediverse. I have a Mastodon account and you can see all the updates. Um, something that can be very helpful because I'm not uh, a graphic designer, but uh, there's many tables that should be, I think, uh, be updated. So this one is a hard table also. So it's working, it can, it can be fun, but uh, it should be, uh, I think, uh, updated to make it uh, nicer and more convenient. So here are some links if you want to uh, get uh, more details and more uh, information about uh, related projects. And uh, yeah, thanks a lot uh, for everything. And if there is any question, I can handle them uh, online on uh, IRC. And uh, I think there is also a pad. And thank you very much for this. And uh, your feedback will be very valuable. So thanks a lot and uh, see you. Bye-bye.